Hey everybody, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can manage your apps and activities on your Garmin Phoenix 7 series watch. And I'm using the 7X Solar Sapphire. Shouldn't matter which version Phoenix 7 you've got. This video should work the same for everybody. The other thing I'll say is we're not gonna be doing it on the watch today. I've done a video in the past that walks you through how you can do this on the watch. Instead, in today's video, we're gonna be going to our Garmin Connect app on our cell phone and I'm gonna show you how you can manage it on your cell phone and then all you have to do is sync it over to your watch and you'll get those changes on your watch. So let's don't look at the watch, let's go to our Garmin Connect app and I'll show you how to do it on there. Okay, so as I mentioned, now I'm on my cell phone. Now I'm an Apple user. It shouldn't matter whether you're using Apple or Android. The one thing you have to have is you have to have the Garmin Connect app on your phone. It's a free app from Garmin. You should have it already if you are uh, using the Phoenix series because you're gonna need it to sync all of your information. Once we go into the app, if you look at the bottom right, you should have a section that says more with three dots. We're gonna click on that. And then we're gonna swipe until we get to the bottom of our list and we see an option for Garmin devices. We're gonna click on Garmin devices. You should see a listing of all of the Garmin devices that you've got connected to your Garmin Connect account. You can see in my case, I've got an Instinct and I've got my Phoenix 7. We're gonna simply click on our Phoenix 7 model and then once we get into it, you're basically looking at all the configuration that you can configure from the cell phone app versus having to do it on your watch. Now remember, you can do this on your watch, but the nice thing about the Phoenix 7 is you can do all of this stuff from your cell phone. It's a whole lot easier to do on your phone versus the watch. So in this video, we're looking at apps and activities. I'm gonna simply click, click on apps and activities, and then I've got the option to edit the apps and activities settings, or I can manage them. So I'm gonna click on manage, and what we'll see are all of my apps and activities as well as the ones I can add. So I've got tennis and I've got stair stepper. If I wanted to rearrange those, I could simply rearrange them. And then at the bottom, there's a listing of the other apps and activities. You can see these are my favorites up the top, the other ones that I've got installed, and then all of the other ones that are available for me to add. So I'm gonna give you a glimpse at all of those. And let's just pick one, for example, boating. If I wanted to add it, I could install it. Some of these will already be on there. So let's, let's do golf and let's just do install. And now when I go up here, you'll see that it's now listed as my, one of my apps and activities, and then I can move it to favorites. If I wanted to set it as a favorite, oops, let go of that a little too early. Sorry, I need to click on the add button. Now we've got it there. Now I can rearrange it. Pretty simple stuff, I'm gonna click back. We can also edit our settings. So you can choose an individual app and you can edit the settings for it. So for example, tennis. If I wanted to add it, edit my app settings for tennis, I can go in here, I can change the data screens that I wanna use for this um, activity. I can change the alerts, power mode, map, lap keys, so on and so forth. Whether or not I want the touch screen to work during this activity, all of these different options that we can do on the watch, we can also do on our cell phone. Once we've got everything set the way we want, we simply press the pack button. If your watch is connected to the Garmin Connect uh, app, your changes should automatically occur on your watch. If not, you can always click on the sync button up at the top of several screens and it will sync the changes to your watch. I hope that helps. It gives you an idea of how you can edit your apps and activities using the Garmin Connect app. Thanks for watching.